Hey guys, in this video I want to have a quick and direct message because I think this is something that uh, I'm making a mistake on and if you're trying to trade ICT you might you might be making some of the same you might be making a similar mistake. Guys, you always have to be able to identify what multiplier, PD array, pattern you're you're entering in on. Virtually every swing is going to <clears throat> is going to have uh, an ICT PD array that you're probably familiar with um, that, you, that you can trade, like virtually every swing. So for example here, um, and this swing right here, uh, call that a buy side imbalance, sell side inefficiency, you're, you're entering, entering in on that. This swing down, you can see that it came up to a rejection block or rejection block and you can enter in on that or you can enter in calling that green candle an order block. Um, you can enter in here on this swing on that black candle call that an order block that's definitely an order block order block entry there um, same thing here on this black candle that was an order block enter in on that uh, a lot of I, I, I see a lot of order blocks everywhere guys I'm kind of an order block guy but this this swing here you have an inverted fair value gap right here you can enter in on that um, even this even this choppiness here that was a rejection block uh, again here rejection block you see prices reject as respecting that rejection block um, you might you might get stopped out a couple of times before before you you get it right but there's a long wick here consequent encroachment of that wick would have worked as well um, pretty much every swing guys is going to have some sort of ICT PD array like you don't need to guess about it pretty much every swing is going to have you're going to have something that you can see could be a rejection block it could be a wick a consequent encroachment of a wick could be a fair value gap could be an inverted fair value gap could be an order block I see a lot of order blocks everywhere um, but you have to see something like you got to be able to identify this is what I'm entering in on uh, yes the draw on liquidity comes first there's no doubt about that guys like the draw on liquidity 100% comes first but on top of that, like here, for example, if you see that the price traded down, you call that an inverted wick right there. You can enter in on that, or you can call the black candle an order block. Um, either way, you could have gotten into that swing as well. Down here, consequent encroachment of, of that wick, did that get you in? Not quite. There's also an inverted fair value gap from back here. Or it could be a breaker block, guys, low, high, low. So if you see that price is low, high, low uh, you can enter in as the as you see that that pattern form um, guys you just have to you have to start training your pattern recognition skills and you've got to be able to identify before you enter like what am I identifying what am I entering on is it am I entering in on a breaker block a mitigation block uh, order block rejection block consequent encroachment of a wick what am I seeing in the market that I'm I'm entering in on and pretty much, guys, if the market starts swinging, you're going to see something. It could just be, like I said, you could just be entering in on a low, high, and low, uh, and you're like, okay, well, this looks like a breaker block. I'm going to target. I'm just going to target the very first title. Well, that's advanced breaker block theory, guys, right there. Does that make sense? Like low, high, low, and then you just enter in at the market or consequent encroachment of that wick or propulsion block or order block. So you had multiple uh, methods by which you could enter in that swing at the very end of the day. You, you just got to be able to identify, you know, what it is that you are looking at. If you cannot, if you cannot identify what it is you're playing, it could be a it could be a silver bullet. Um, you could be playing a silver bullet PD array, which is going to be a fair value gap. Could be playing an order block. Could be playing a breaker block. Could be playing a mitigation block. So all your block theory stuff. What's all your block theories? Rejection block, breaker block, order block, mitigation block. Those are all your block theories. Could be an inefficiency. Long wick, in, fair value gap, inverted fair value gap, buy set imbalance, sell set inefficiency, sell set imbalance, buy set inefficiency. Those are fair value gaps. Could be a new week opening gap. Could be a new day opening gap. Could be a breakaway gap. Could be a common gap. Could be a measuring gap. But you got to see something. So one of the reasons why I think that I'm taking unnecessary losses is entering in when I'm not really... I'm not really seeing the PD array or the multiplier that I should be entering in on. So 
guys, if you see nothing, if you legitimately like, I don't know, I see nothing, then you got to sit on your hands and wait until you see something. It literally, guys, could just be as simple as a low, high, low breaker, high, low, high breaker. Could be as simple as that, but you got to see something. Okay. So in this video, I've got the direct message of yes, the draw on liquidity comes first, but every time that you enter into the market, you got to see one of Michael's patterns. And if you don't see one of the patterns, you need to get out of the market. You need to be flat and wait until you see. You have to have an entry multiplier. You must. So if you want to be trading more often, you just have to learn more multipliers. I don't know what to tell you. like, But you have to have a multiplier that you're entering in on. There's no... That is mandatory. So like I said, guys, it could be very simple. It could be an order block. It could be a wick. It could be a breaker block. Rejection block. Uh, new day opening gap. New week opening gap. Any, anything guys it could be it could be any of the patterns that he's taught but it's got to be something okay guys in this video I urged you that that before you enter the market you've got to see something you've got to see an entry multiplier of some kind and if you cannot identify your entry multiplier you cannot enter in yet okay guys this was my video on on uh, mandatory PD arrays for entry bye bye